Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to find the mediation effect using Sobel Z test. Sobel Z test is a very simple test through which we can find the significance of the mediating variable between the independent variable and the dependent variable. Let us see the formula. This is a formula where we are going to find the Z value. In this, A is unstandardized coefficient of independent variable. SA is a standard error of independent variable. B is unstandardized coefficient of mediation variable. And SB is standard error of mediation variable. Now let us take a very simple example. Do the analysis, we'll interpret the results also. So this is the example which I'm going to do for the analysis purpose. Here we have X is independent variable. M is a mediation variable, Y is a dependent variable. Now in this we need to do the analysis, regression analysis two times. First we will be taking M as a dependent variable, X as independent variable. And again we will do the second time regression analysis where we are going to take Y as a dependent, uh, dependent variable, X and M as independent variables. So let's start the analysis. First analyze regression in this linear first let us take this mediation as a dependent variable x as independent variable click ok now see the coefficients in this coefficient we need to note uh, this unstandardized coefficients this x value 0 0.688 0 0.053 now here this is A is 0 0.688, SA is 0 0.053. So this values which we got as M, uh, dependent variable is taken as M. So we got this value 0 0.688, 0 0.053. These two values we got. Now what we will do is we will do the analysis once again by taking M as a dependent variable, X and M as a independent variable. Okay, y is taken as a dependent variable. Both x and m are taken as a independent variables. Let's click OK. Uh, in this, again see the coefficients. We got this uh, b value as 0 0.232 and uh, the standard error as 0 0.045. Now if you see this one, b value is 0 0.232 and sb is 0. 0, 4, 5. These two values have been taken here. Now we will calculate a square value, s a square value, b square value and s b square values are calculated. Substitute these values in the formula, you will get the z value. z value is 4.793. Now let us interpret whether this m is mediating or not. For that purpose, we need this statement. If the Z value is greater than 1.96, then the M variable is significantly mediating between X and Y. So we have Z value is 4.793, which is more than 1.96. So now we can come to a conclusion that M variable is significantly mediating between X and Y. This is a conclusion. If this M value, the Z value is less than 1.96, we can say that is M is not significantly mediating. But here we got the value is 4.793, which is more than 1.96. So we can conclude that M variable is significantly mediating between X and Y. This is a simple test through which we can find uh, whether this M variable is mediating or not. I wish this video will be useful for your research. Please subscribe the channel, share the video. Thank you very much.